Traditionally, combustion is used for power generation, propulsion, and heating. However, our research has shown the potential of combustion to produce carbon nanotube. Very interesting. Multi-wall carbon nanotubes is a nanomaterial with tubular structure consists of multi-layer walls made of carbon. It is thousand times thinner than our hair, but it has remarkable properties. Since carbon nanotube is 100 times stronger than steel and up to 100 times more conductive than copper, it is used as additive to the base material to improve the end product performance. However, multi-wall carbon nanotubes is relatively expensive material and this fact become a major hindrance of carbon nanotubes application in various products in the market such as battery, solar panels, composite, sensors and semiconductors. Thus, it is our main goal to reduce the cost of carbon nanotubes with highly efficient synthesis process offered by Novell Flame Technology to make carbon nanotubes more accessible for various consumer-based applications. Conventional process of carbon nanotube synthesis is using chemical vapor deposition method. Using this method, external heating from the furnace is used to induce the breakup of hydrocarbon to supply carbon for carbon nanotube growth. Even though this method capable of producing ideal condition for carbon nanotube growth, maintaining furnace temperature for more than 1000 degrees Celsius for a long period of time is very expensive and inefficient. This is why we introduced a novel application of flame technique in the synthesis process of multi-wall carbon nanotubes. Flame synthesis has significant advantages in reducing production costs through minimizing external heating application of furnace. The flame will provide both heat and carbon source for the synthesis process to occur. Furthermore, flame synthesis is also proven capable to enhance production rate of carbon nanotubes with higher synthesis rate through natural decomposition of hydrocarbon. Thus, application of flame synthesis not only reducing the total production cost of carbon nanotubes but also helps to reduce carbon footprint in the production of carbon nanotubes with minimizing utilization of electricity. The test rig used to develop the synthesis process was designed and fabricated in-house in HiREF laboratory. The synthesis process utilized premixed flat flame with mixture of methane and oxygen gas. The catalyst is nickel nitrate with nitrogen as carry gas. The overall synthesis process is designed to be relatively simple. Place the ceramic bits at the right height above burner before coated with catalyst vapor. Once ready, the coated ceramic bits are exposed to a flat flame for a certain period of time and the carbon nanotubes are collected within minutes. The flame is contained within synthesis chamber in form of quartz tube to ensure a well controlled gas composition within the synthesis region. Using high equivalence ratio flame, additional carbon from the combustion is used as carbon source for inception and growth of carbon nanotubes. To ensure safe exhaust gas, a glass washer is utilized at the outlet of quartz tube to trap any nickel vapor carryover. The synthesis process utilizes a methane flat premix flame as source of carbon and heat. A flat flame provides one dimensional variation of temperature which ensure uniform and maximum carbon nanotube growth region. Flat flame is also ideal for development of theoretical model of the flame condition and the synthesis process. To establish a flat premix flame, the burner outlet is fitted with a sintered stainless steel metal. The ceramic bits is coated with thin layer of nickel as catalyst for carbon nanotube growth. Catalyst coating process is incorporated in the process with heated nickel vapor is supplied in the synthesis chamber through shield gas outlet at the burner. The carbon nanotubes is synthesized on top of catalyst coated spherical bits placed close to the flat flame which produce maximum carbon nanotube growth region. Our group is based in School of Mechanical Engineering, UTM Skudai. Uh, the High Speed Reacting Flow Laboratory has been established in 2007 where we got academicians, graduate students, and research assistants working together for various projects. Having expertise in combustion science and modeling, we managed to understand the synthesis control within the challenging environment of the flame quite well. The model that we developed let us understand where to grow carbon nanotube within the flame. And the lab-scale synthesis system that we have now may produce dense nanotubes within minutes. The detailed characterization of the nanotubes shows we get what we want. A crystalline structure, multi-wall carbon nanotube with average diameter of 30 nanometer.
with six ISI publications, three Scopus publications, and 40 citations since 2017, we successfully filed a patent last year related to the water-assisted synthesis. We are glad uh, that since last two years, the project gained various awards locally and abroad. The silver medal was gained when we presented the first generation of synthesis system. The product is specially designed for three main market segments, which are academia research organization, local industry research and development, and manufacturer of carbon nanotube based product. Customers from academia need lab grade material with predictable properties to produce the research output. We may be able to offer 20 to 30 percent reduction in price by selling directly to academia organization, which may be part of our own research network. Local industry and manufacturing requires the localization of raw material supply chain that can have predictable cost that is not affected by currency fluctuation. We also may offer technical consultancy to companies without research and development department. The multi-wall carbon nanotubes offered has nearly similar consistency in terms of diameter compared to readily available product in the market. Market trend of carbon-based nanomaterial is very promising. Since our target customer is from Malaysia, the trend that shows highest market share in the Asia-Pacific region in 2023 is a good news. Market analysis shows that there are 20 research organizations that we know quite well within and outside the country. They are our main target market considering the research collaboration that we have with them. Local industry research and development and manufacturers are those that we need to reach out via extensive marketing. With the expected supply of 500 kilo every year, we expect 10 million ringgit annual sale with the average price of RM20 ringgit per gram. This brings us to an optimistic annual profit of 5 million ringgit with 50% profit margin. At the current phase of technological plan, several research funding have been secured from UTM and KPT, which has been used for development of the fundamental research and pilot scale testing of the manufacturing process for the CNT. In the next phase, we expect to secure funding from various other research and development. The projected expenses and revenue for the next four years are expected to grow significantly through upgrading of the manufacturing process from pilot scale plant to industrial scale production capacity. We are quite confident to penetrate the local market since there is no large scale producer of CNT in the country. We expect to place ourselves as manufacturer of low cost CNT with large production volume. Local suppliers like NE Scientific and BT Science a low volume supplier. High volume supplier is mostly dominated by overseas manufacturer. Uh, as a combustion scientist, uh, I believe that uh, flame synthesis has a bright future. Uh, it's fast and it can lead to economical synthesis of carbon nanotube. Um, I'm quite excited about it. And as a project leader, I believe it has a bright future for you know, job creation, uh, income generation, and hopefully it will spearhead the nanotech business uh, in the country. From a science point of view, synthesis graph, uh, synthesis CNT without uh, vacuum and furnace is a very good idea. And in this research, okay, we try to focus on synthesized CNT with fully uh, control uh, in, in terms of atom arrangement, uh, geometry, and purity.